Next, I'll show you some of our fact books. So these are our nonfiction books. For babies, we have tummy time books. These are incredible. They're high contrast. That you can lay them flat or set them up. And they help babies um, lift up their little necks and their little heads for tummy time. We have on the farm and one, two, three counting. Um, one, two, three counting has a little bit of color. And these are amazing and they're only $8. Perfect baby shower gift right there. Then we have, um, these just came back in stock and we have some brand new ones. This one's My Wild Animal World. We also have um, the a farm one and we have a counting one and first words. So th this is, they have all these teeny tiny little books in here and they have a matching thing that they can match them. They're um, perfect for little hands and they're nonfiction. So it's a tiger, it says, I am a tiger my home is a jungle. My baby is called a cub. I eat meat and I roar. So each one has little facts about each animal. These are a blast. You could even stack them up and use them as blocks. They are wonderful. They're some of my daughter's favorites. She loves these. I love these. And they're great. I, I use them for church. Then we have Little Red Penguin um, series. We have four books in this series. These are great for um, toddlers. We have words, we have colors, and numbers, and shapes. So these are fun. They um, have, a, it's about this little red penguin. It says, how many scooters can you see? It's fun to ride my scooter. So you see one little dot. And then it says, um, I have one green suitor and it shows the number. So this one, they can count the dots. So they're learning number sense and sequencing and recognizing numbers. These are great little um, books to, uh, with flaps. I love these. Then we have the first questions and answers. These books are wonderful for your preschool, kindergarten students that are always asking questions. These, this is brand new, What Makes It Rain, and then we also have How Do Flowers Grow? So it's really fun because they have flaps, and it's a fun way to learn. They can lift up the flaps. It says, what's it like inside a cloud? And then they can read inside. So it says, um, this one has about rainbows. This one I didn't know. It says, do all rainbows have the same stripes? Yes, but when a second rainbow appears above the first one, the stripes are flipped which is an interesting fact I did not know. So these are great, a fun way to learn. Also we have pocket books, we have mammals, we have birds, insects, and some um, brand new ones coming out as well. So they're kind of like fact files. I don't know if you remember those from when I was a kid, we had like cards that you could um, learn animal facts, but these are great because it's all in a tiny little book. You can, they can pack it around with them anywhere. And so they can, it goes through, it has the name of the, anim, of the animal and it has the scientific name and then all, all these little facts about it. And it even has um, what their uh, status is, their conservation status, if they're endangered or, um, or vulnerable. So these are really fun, um, that they little, full of little facts. We have the beginner nonfiction books. We have a ton of books in this series. You can buy a collection of the animal ones. I absolutely adore these. They're perfect for if I, I wish I had them when I was teaching kindergarten because it's really hard to find a good nonfiction book. It's hardback. They're five dollars a piece, or you could buy a collection of ten. It has the table of contents. It has all these, it has little chunks of information, has little pictures, some of them have illustrations on some of the pages. It's just a fun way to learn. And then in the back, there is a glossary, and then there are some quick links that they can go and learn more about that topic online, safe website, and then there's an index in the back. These are wonderful and great for kiddos that love to learn. We also have big books. We have several books in this series. This one is um, Rockets and Spacecraft, and it comes with huge fold-outs, so they can kind of see um, 
um, to scale different things. So this has the different rockets and to scale. And then you can see that tiny little astronaut. So you kind of get a, an idea of how big these things are. We also have sea creatures and dinosaurs and bugs and all kinds of different um, topics in this series. So those are really fun. We also have a ton of lift the flap books. I have another video. I love lift the flaps. Um, if you're ever on my channel, you can check it out. But uh, the, this is a brand, well, it's newer. It came out last year. It's computers and coding. So if you have a Minecraft lover, this book is great. And it just teaches you um, about computers and coding by lifting the flaps. So this is a really hot topic right now. We also have a brand new um, Computers and Coding by Scratch book out that is also very, very popular. So we have a ton of different um, Lift the Flat books, um, which is a fun way to learn. We also have First Encyclopedias. We have First Encyclopedia of Science, Oceans and Sea Creatures. Um, we have all different kinds, and this is really fun way for them to learn and to learn how to use an encyclopedia. But it's easy to use and breaks it down. So it has a little bit at the beginning, has the quick links again where you can go and learn more, and there's different pictures and activities that they can um, use. And then it's like an encyclopedia, so they can go in there and learn about different topics. And then in the back, there is the science words, so they can um, help with definitions, and there's the index. So those are really fun. You can also get these in hardback. Um, then we have encyclopedias. We have science. We have um, a biology one. We have a few different encyclopedias. These are wonderful uh, homeschool tools. And so there's a lot of information in here. You can also get these in hardback, which I highly recommend. And um, so these are great. And again, there are links online that they can go to. Where is that first page? That they can, here's the internet links. There's um, activities and experiments. They can um, see, there's one really cool. They can explore the surface of Mars with a robot rover. There's so many cool things they can do. And then of course there's the contents and index and scientific terms. These are great, great books. We have a ton more. We have dictionaries and all kinds of other great fact books. Usborne does amazing nonfiction. So you can find more on our website.